Okay guys, one more solar cook. Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So I've got a few more hours of daylight and I want to make sure that I take advantage of it while I've got the time and the effort left. Um, I'm going to cook us up some more steel cut oats for our breakfasts this week. And this one I'm going to do a little bit different. I, one of my subscribers gave me a great idea and I'm going to run with it. She uses half apple juice. So I'm going to use half apple cider. So I've got two cups of steel cut oats in here. I've got my pinch of salt. And I've got three cups of... Let's see if I can get away with using parchment. Ah. Uh, three cups of the apple cider. And I need three cups of water. This will be wonderful with um, raisins and bananas and cinnamon and all those wonder spices that we love and healthy. And I don't know that the parchment's going to hold up. If it does, it will be amazing. Maybe if I put the oh, no. I put the lid on. Be able to get it to work. Okay. So it's about um, timing wise, it's about 20 minutes longer than a regular cook on your stove. So, okay. We're going to get that seated on there nice and tight. I'm going to go put this in the solar oven and I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> it is done. And I'm excited. This worked so well. We have, uh, ow, hot, steel cut oatmeal um, in the solar oven. And it actually took about an hour and a half, um, almost two hours. But that's okay because we didn't have to pay for any of that. And now we have breakfasts for the whole week. So. Um, we're good to go and I didn't spend any money on power I'm I'm really excited um, and I did this recipe a little bit different so we'll have a little bit different flavor palette going on and I also used the parchment paper which you know what I think it works so I'm gonna see if I can't get this into a bowl for you and and then we'll give it a taste. Oh, look how beautiful. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And it does tighten up when it's in the fridge. It tightens up. So you pour some non-fat milk on there. Or some more. I mean, if you want to put juice on there, put some juice on there and some berries. It'll be delicious no matter what you do. And one scoop is plenty for breakfast for me. I, I cannot... I can't eat the rest of the day if I eat any more than that. So, okay, now that I've got most of it in there, I can gather up my parchment. And it didn't all stay in there the way I planned, but it's okay because the majority of it did. It's still easy cleanup. We have a little brown bottom there which is okay, we love that. And then look at that, got nothing to clean up. Very little water to clean that up. And I will give you a test, a taste test here. Oh, it just looks an amazing. We bought a bunch of apples today and so um, I, I truly am going to add some apples to this uh, I don't need it any sweeter I don't think I already tasted it but I'll taste it again um, I don't need it any sweeter than this I have half of the liquid was apple cider mmm mmm and it's perfect it's not sweet at all but it has that hint of the apple which will be wonderful with some cinnamon and you know maybe even you know grind a little clove or five spice or you know just some apple and mm, 
brown sugar or if you're trying to stay away from sugar do something different but I truly hope this inspires you I hope that it makes you think outside the box you know what steel cut oatmeal is amazing food for you and we did it today in the solar oven so there you go and there you have it I hope that you come back and see me because I have lots of videos coming up if you like this uh, give me a like on the like button and if you really like it go ahead and post it post it on your Facebook page alright guys God bless